Hey guys, Roger Kovic here. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit about um, this project that I just finished up, um, our most recent addition to our off-grid system. Um, it's basically a two-wire generator controller um, to control our Lister uh, DC genset. Um, it's uh, taken me about uh, about a year uh, on and off to kind of finish this project and to get it operational. Um, I sort of started it backwards. Uh, I came up with the idea and wrote the code and built the controller. Um, and then I had to finish uh, the uh, mechanics, uh, the mechanical aspect of coupling a uh, starter motor to the generator and uh, making sure that stuff all sort of worked out all right. Um, and then I had to build the building. So uh, you're actually standing um, with me in the new generator shed. Um, it houses the Lister, um, the backup list of parts, or Listeroid, excuse me, um, and the controller. So uh, basically, uh, the reason for doing all this sort of thing, uh, other than I kind of just wanted to see if I could pull it off, um, is we live off grid in Wisconsin. Um, the winters are kind of long. Uh, there's uh, pretty low amount of sun hours um, in the winter, and uh, the temperature is relatively cold, so sometimes diesel engines don't like to necessarily start in the cold. Um, and I was getting tired of uh, going outside and kind of cranking it up, and um, sometimes it would take a bit to get it going, and it was rough on my back. So um, I wanted a system that kind of um, alleviated that, pretty much. Um, Plus the fact it's kind of dangerous to uh, actually uh, crank the thing over, um, and I kind of figured if I could take the human uh, out of the equation, it would be a little bit safer to uh, live, with, live with this sort of engine. Um, we really love it. Uh, it works really well. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. It's, uh, it's very fuel efficient, um, and it's just an all-around uh, great performer. Um, this engine actually, I think, turns 10 years old uh, this year. Um, and uh, if you guys have been following some of the progress of this project over the years, um, you may have remembered a post I made on the Field Lines forum um, years ago. I think it was back in 2008. Um, did some calculations for fuel efficiency and basically figured it out about 8 point, I'm sorry, uh, 9.84 kilowatt hours per gallon of diesel. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, we did those calculations at sea level and in the summertime. Um, so the only difference here is that we've relocated to about 1,200 feet above sea level, um, and we use it primarily in the winter. So I, I may want to go back and uh, redo those calculations at some point, but um, yeah, it's, we're, we're completely happy with the fuel efficiency. Um, we have a 55-gallon uh, fuel tank on it, so the way I like to think about it is that we have about roughly 500 kilowatt hours of storage if we need it. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, we have an Outback system, so uh, we have a Mate 3, um, and the Mate 3 has a function called AGS, um, Automatic Generator Start. And this controller, uh, which is a two-wire generator controller pretty much, um, serves as an interface between the Mate 3 AGS uh, and the DC genset. So in the AGS, um, or even manual commands through the Mate 3, um, causes the auxiliary uh, contact closure to close, uh, meaning that the generator should run. Um, this little device handles all of the timing sequences um, and some of the safety uh, functions um, of the generator to make sure it starts reliably um, and that it shuts down reliably and that it stays relatively well behaved. Um, the uh, controller is PLC driven. Um, it uses a uh, Molar EZ620. Um, PLC, and uh, it's uh, the code's written in ladder logic. So I wrote the code. It's about 30, 30 lines or so, um, which handles uh, all of the functionality. Uh, all right. So the PLC actually serves a few key functions. Um, it serves to control a bunch of the timers. Um, one being for glow plug uh, duration, and yes, we added a glow plug for cold weather starting. Um, it controls the duration of the starter um, as it's cranking the engine over. Um, it controls the safety loops, uh, whether um, it continuously monitors whether there's uh, sufficient fuel um, or 
if the temperature of the head is, has exceeded a certain threshold, it needs to shut down. Um, it controls the duration that it opens and closes the fuel rack for starting or shutting down. Um, and it also has start confirmation through a few comparators that measure um, alternator voltage to determine whether the engine has successfully started and come up to speed um, or is overspeeding for some reason and needs to be shut down. So those are some pretty cool features um, that the PLC is capable of monitoring. Um, of course, we have uh, auto and manual mode. Uh, in the auto mode, it uses full complete PLC functionality. Um, in the manual mode, it pretty much bypasses all of that stuff except for the safety loop uh, and gives you manual control um, over all of the functions. Um, in the auto mode, um, you basically can start and stop the generator remotely uh, via the Mate 3 screen um, or through the automated HES um, or even through optics, which is actually pretty cool. Um, we have about 600 to 700 hours uh, on the engine so far over the years. Um, I've not had an hour meter on it, but I've pretty much um, come to some conclusions as to how often we run it. We do have a, a functioning hour meter now, which is great. Um, like I said, the engine's almost 10 years old. It's been super reliable. Um, and with this system, I seem to uh, expect it's going to run pretty reliable uh, well into the future. Um, so yeah, um, let's, uh, let's take it through an auto start, shall we? Put it back to auto. All right, here we are at the Mate 3. I typically leave it in the FlexNet screen. Um, to access generator functionality, simply come over here to the Gen button. It brings you to the generator status screen, showing I currently have it in the manual mode. To toggle the generator on and off, you simply hit the on button. You see it starting and you see it start to run. All right, so the really cool part about this is that all of the functionality that's typically included in the Mate 3 is also available via optics. So if you have optics um, and you had a system like this, you simply could use your mobile browser or your computer or whatever um, to pull up the optics web page and in the upper right hand corner there is the system setting menu it's loading and in the system setting menu you have the generator not running currently I'm gonna set that to on Then hit apply, and it's going to ask me to confirm, and it's writing it. You hit a glow plug go, and the generator will start. And to shut it down, Simply just go back to the same menu and select generator and select off, done, apply, okay. It's going to write the settings. And the generator will shut down. PLC holding the fuel rack in until the flywheels come to a stop. There you go. Pretty cool, huh?